played from Fenway Park in Boston. Tonight, the opener of a three-game series between the Toronto Blue Jays and the East-leading Boston Red Sox. Hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskirchen here for this AL East matchup. I'm joined by Eric Karros and the newest member of our team, Steve Lyons, as we delve into our pitching matchup here in the opener. And there you get a look at the starting pitcher, whose job it'll be to keep these guys in check. His number is right there on the right side of your screen. Is this guy going to find his command anytime soon? He's not just missing by a little. A lot of these pitches have been very easy taken. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Blue Jays go down in order. You know, on the mound, he's probably thinking, hey, can I apply the credit to the next guy? Here's the ball hit hard on the ground towards short. Right there is Reyes. And he's safe at first as he beats this one out by about a half a step. And making it even 10 games in a row he's hit in now as that bat has really come alive of late. Started to go. They'll look for the appeal down to third and bring him up, says the third base umpire. He's gone. Well, pitching like this deserves another look through as we check out the last four batters on show track. Here he was striking out the side the previous inning, and he starts things off here with another one. That's four in a row now. Boy, and they cannot touch him right now. Five straight strikeouts on the ledger, and there are two away. And it's worth pointing out here with the trade deadline approaching, it's getting to be nervous time for some of these guys. And my goodness, how about this? He struck out the side in back-to-back -back innings. Six in a row, and the inning is over. Three up, three down, three strikeouts. Not too shabby. Through an inning and a half, no score on the show. Harry Potter will start things out. Bottom third of the order, 7, 8, and 9 to start out the home half of the second. And they probably still can't believe they didn't get anything out of that first inning. They got the bases loaded, but just couldn't cash in. Now the 3-1 home. Swing and a hard hit ball towards the hole. Throw not in time as he's able to leg it out. And the key to this is that he's running hard out of the batter's box all the way. You know, with some guys, it's not always the case, but he has really busted it down the line, and he's going to get rewarded with the infield hit. Number 69 will take his first cuts now, currently second in the American League in home runs.
to right center. Number 31 for him on the season. As the Red Sox get the game's first run, it's one to nothing. And I'll tell you what, here at Fenway, you'll get your fair share of triples out in that triangle, but it takes a pretty good poke to leave the yard out there, and we got all of that piece. This is just incredible now. That is 10 straight guys that he struck out. 10 of them. That ties the all-time Major League mark set by Hall of Famer Tom Seaver. And he did it versus the Padres. Oh, and you can tell he wanted to hold off, but he sweeps on the inside pitch anyway, and he becomes out number two. Well, that'll do it right there. That's the record breaker. 11 straight strikeouts more than anyone else in Major League history. I've never seen anything like it. Heck, nobody's ever seen anything like it. These guys just flat out cannot touch them. Number 69. Number 69 will dig in. He singled his first time around. The next 3-2.
will make that up. But I tell you, the way he's throwing the ball right now, they might be fortunate just to get one run off. Greg Pulse will stand in here. He's 0 for 2 with a sacrifice to this point. as he gives this one a pretty good ride out to deep center. And out of here! So it's a solo shot to dead center. Number 35 now on the season. And the Red Sox break on top now 5 to nothing. that have some pretty good bite to them and then there's some hangers and this folks well this is a hanger but you can see his eyes light up on that one that's a mistake pitch if i've ever seen martin king will stand in and they've been able to hold him in check so far over three to this point yeah it's kind of surprising that he's been a non-factor in this one usually a major force in their offense
down in order. Still 8-0. last time. This is a hard hit ball back up the middle and he's going to have his second hit tonight as it's into center field for the base hit. And the runner will hold at second so two on with nobody out. I tell you, when you're on a hot streak like this guy's been on, everything you touch turns to gold. Pouring it on as he stands in with the bases loaded. What a soup tan right now. Oh, hit sharply and through into right field. That's a base hit. And they won't push things here as they'll hold the second runner at third, so they're loaded now with still nobody out. Hey, when you've got a guy going for a shutout, you may as well get him some more help. I doubt he'll need it, but they're able to add on to him. Number 55, who will come in and pitch now. There, what's going through his mind right now? Well, I would guess he's trying to approach his ninth inning the same way he has earlier, but... Oh, oh, meanwhile, how about that for a play? Laying out to take away a hit. Wow. Well, that would get a tip of the cap with this pitcher, no doubt about that. He knows what's potentially at stake here, so he's going to do everything he can to make sure this doesn't become that first hit. That is an incredible play to bring this ball in. Another one-two delivery. And this is swung on and sent on the ground to first. And he'll take this to the bag himself, and there are two away now. Man, I wonder what's going through his head right now.